Hey there! Thanks for clicking on our video. My name is Marcus. My name is Tom. And today we're going to be talking about what exactly is location scouting. So the terminology location scouting really comes to us from film. But it's also very helpful to know what goes into finding a good location for your video. For example, if you're working on a school project, or perhaps you're just very interested in um, film in general and you want to explore that area more. So we're going to talk about three main things in this video. What exactly is location scouting? Why is it important? And then we'll go into some more detail about location scouting. So what exactly is location scouting? Well, it's just as it implies, looking for a place for a location. Now that can be either at some restaurant or in your room or in the woods, etc. It really does not matter where that area is. But why do you really need to go looking for it? Couldn't you just pick up your camera and start filming? Well, that's a good question. Yes, you could just pick up your camera and start filming. But finding the right location helps you tell your story better. If we were to give the example of someone waking up in the morning, you wouldn't have them wake up in the morning coming out of the refrigerator or walking out of the garage. You'd most likely have them coming out of the bed or even out of their room. So why is location scouting important? Well, location really becomes part of the story you're trying to tell. Um, it could be even a character by itself, but it most certainly is the backdrop of your story. As an example, if you had a man in ragged clothes in a very uh, expensive apartment versus a, that same man in a trailer park or a trailer, those two pictures would tell very two very different stories. Right. The bottom line is that your location needs to support the story, right? It needs to set a certain feel, a certain mood of the story. If your film that you're creating is like very bubbly and bright and happy, you might want to record somewhere that's very bright and vibrant and bright colors and open spaces. But on the contrary, if you were to record something that's very moody and very dark and, you know, has a very dark feeling to it, you would find maybe tight spaces or dimmer lighting or the, that kind of idea. Let's talk about why a location might or might not be a good fit. Number one thing is safety. Mm -hmm. It is most important to keep safety in mind. If a location you go to is not safe, that is not a good location for you or your crew. For example, if you are filming on a busy street or God forbid on a highway, that is not a safe location to film. Same way, um, if you're filming um, around some kind of a natural feature like a waterfall or a cliff, if it's not safe to do so, don't do it. It's not worth it and it's probably illegal anyway. Another thing that can make or break a location is how much control you have over different elements. The three main things you want to be looking out for are lighting, sound, and traffic. Now, lighting is very important. Uh, but different ways you can control lighting is if you're indoors by closing some curtains or setting up some lights inside uh, your building to shine some light into the subject. Noise. Noise is very important because if you can't hear what's being, what's being said, it could break your film. And also if there's too much noise going on in the background, if there's cars going on or if someone's taking a shower upstairs or if there's even like people playing soccer across the field, the audio could pack that up and it could mess up your shot. And the third thing is traffic. Now it's not necessarily like a car driving on the road traffic, that could be it, but primarily foot traffic, like people walking in the background or even like the noise that's being passed back and forth around the camera. There's some things that you want to make sure that you have, a, have an eye on when you're out looking for different locations to film on. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, keep in mind the type of day. So, for example, if you're location scouting over the weekend at a park, for example, and uh, you find a nice location, um, that might look completely different during the week or vice versa. Same way, if you're location scouting in the afternoon when there is really nice sunset light and you have the golden hour going on, you're not going to have that same lighting when you go there at, at noon. So, so keep the time of day in mind and go and look at the location around the time that you intend to film it. Now some good places that we could film is inside your own home. Now this is a great place because you have lots of control. You have control over lighting, you get close curtains, you have control over traffic. You, know, you can tell people not to walk into this specific room and you'll be good. 
And for the most part, you have control over sound. Just don't tell people to flush the toilet and then you'll be fine. So while well, home is a great place to start, you might grow out of it and need to go and find locations outside of your home. The first place you could look at is a local restaurant, perhaps. You want to make sure that you go and talk to the restaurant owner first and make sure that um, you are able to move things around and just all the things that Marcus talked about in terms of having control, right? Um, but um, also perhaps they will let you use the place when it's closed. Another place to consider would be a public uh, park. Parks are typically great for filming because um, there's usually enough space where you can locate yourself in an area where all the things that we've talked about here in terms of having control, people are not walking through your set, you can control the level of noise, as well as you have the ability to move things or uh, uh, have control over lighting. Something very important to keep in mind while going out in public and filming around people is getting permission, right? Permission from store owners, making sure that you can actually go there and film because the last thing that you want is to be escorted out in the middle of your shoot and ruins your entire day. So we hope you found this video helpful and if so, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe because we have some more videos coming out in the future uh, talking about specific points that we talked about in this video today. Uh, you can keep updated with things that are coming out to uh, benefit you in your future filming careers. Thanks again for clicking on our video. Thank you for watching my face. And thank you for watching his face. <laughs> Bye. See you next video. Bye.